Hello everyone, welcome to the June 19th, 2016 edition of the Astrology News Report. I'm Ron Berger, your guide to what's happening in the Zodiac. In this segment, we take a look at the upcoming planetary patterns and predictions, what's on the celestial agenda for June 19th to June 26th and beyond. The full moon is on Monday, June 20th, and coincides with the summer solstice, the longest day of the year. The full moon is the culmination of the month's energies, a time when the power of the lunar month is fully manifested. And this full moon falls in the self-centered fire sign Sagittarius, a sign noted for having a strong attachment to its own personal point of view. Now, note that this full moon is happening on a day when there are a lot of simultaneous planetary patterns in operation, making for a rather complex situation. First, see that Venus is opposite to the full moon. Venus is the planet of romance, pleasure, agreement, appearance. Both Venus and the moon have a lot to do with relationships. So, this could be a good moon for amorous activities, coming to agreement, or just dressing up and going out. Simultaneous with the full moon, Mercury is exactly opposite retrograde Saturn. Mercury is the planet of rational thinking and therefore making choices. Saturn is the reality check planet. So, with this arrangement, responsible thinking and making realistic decisions are favored, but that may not fit in with the romantic inclinations of Venus influencing the moon. Making things even more interesting is that the Mercury-Saturn opposition is simultaneously square to Neptune, forming a T-square pattern in the zodiac. The T-square formation is a three-planet combination noted for creating stress. The planet at the midpoint of the other two planets becomes crucial for resolving the energy created by the two planets in opposition. In this case, Neptune, the planet of dreams and delusion, is the pivotal planet that has to provide the answer posed by the questions raised by Mercury versus Saturn. It's not an easy combination and is likely to create confusion over what is the proper decision or course of action to take. Cue the Brexit vote in Britain. Mercury moves pretty quickly, so by midweek, this energy pattern will be less of an issue. For the last several weeks, Jupiter and Rahu have been moving towards each other and will be exactly conjunct on Monday, June 20th. Jupiter is the planet of truth, relief, beliefs, and religion. Rahu is one of the eclipse points and therefore can obscure whatever it contacts. In Vedic mythology, Rahu is a demon with demonic qualities like great desire, obsession, and urgency. And therefore, Jupiter conjunct Rahu produces an obsession with truth, with beliefs. This is happening in the egocentric fire sign Leo. So it's a personal truth, not a universal truth. Remember that the energy is available to everyone, so we get everything from the beliefs of mass killers, to the beliefs of rebel politicians, to the apocalyptic vision of Islamic extremists. This particular pattern is slow moving. In fact, it has been in effect since the beginning of the year, and although peaking this week, it will continue until Jupiter finally departs from Leo in August. And, as if we don't have enough stressful patterns in the Zodiac for one week, here's one more. Retrograde Mars and Uranus are in an exact inconjunct aspect. The inconjunct aspect, also called the quincux in, Vedic, in Western astrology, 
is when two planets are exactly 150 degrees or 210 degrees apart from each other, which in Vedic astrology is called the 6-8 position. This arrangement takes on the quality of two of the worst houses in the chart, the 6th house of struggle and the 8th house of big changes. The character of this planetary pattern requires that some kind of adjustment has to be made, some kind of sacrifice to resolve the discordant energy. Here we have Mars, planet of action and conflict, in an inimical setup with Uranus, planet of rebellion and sudden unexpected events. Obviously this is not conducive to smooth functioning, and therefore it's best to not initiate an important action while this energy pattern is in play. Especially with the involvement of Uranus, the results will not turn out as expected. Fortunately, this planetary arrangement is not going to last too long because Uranus is about to change signs. It enters Aries on June 27th, which sets up a whole new pattern in the zodiac, about which I will have much to say next week. Note that all of these patterns are happening during a week when there is a significant decision that has to be made. Britain votes on Thursday whether to remain in or leave the European Union. Here's the chart of the day when voting begins on June 23rd. Even with all of the problematic combinations, what is interesting is that two of the main significators of voting, the Moon, representing the public's mind, and Mercury, the planet of making choices, are both in Earth signs. Moon in Capricorn, sign of practical results, and Mercury in Taurus, the sign of material worth. So, looks like the outcome may be dictated by British pocketbooks, and therefore favoring the remain in side. Okay, that'll do it for this week. Thanks for visiting astrologynewsreport.com. I'll be posting updates during the week on Twitter at Astro News Report. <laughs>